Welcome back to XCOM, guys. This is a really exciting time, because um, there's a whole bunch of stuff which is about to happen, which I think is going to dramatically change the situation for us. So let's um, let's get this satellite uplink done. Satellite uplink complete. Excellent. Okay, now we've got that satellite uplink in place, and um, if, you, if you go down here, you can actually see these. So we've got We've now got the four satellite uplinks, and if we go to the facilities, you can see that we've got all the bonuses for adjacency. So, how many satellites can we now support? Let's check out the sit room. Right, we've got eight satellites available. We can now support up to 12, so that means we can launch another seven satellites which is like most of the world um, let's see one two three four five six seven eight there's only nine <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is get these satellites launched we've got seven days till the council report and we want these satellites uh, operational by then. So uh, let's launch some satellites. So first of all, let's um, let's get one up in India. Get the threat down there, and that brings in a hundred a month. Satellite launched. Awesome. Right. Uh, now, I really want to get uh, a specific bonus from one of these um, from one of these continents, and I'm pretty sure. No, it's uh, it's Asia. Oh man, we can't get the the Asian bonus, which is a real damn shame. Uh, losing China and Japan You'll was have to check their a major mistake. I want our birds kept fully fueled I really at all times. should have sorted that out. But hey, you know, you live and you learn. Right, let's get uh, Egypt and South Africa down. So let's launch that. That brings in another six. Satellite launched. South Africa. That's going to bring in another 90. Let's launch that. Satellite launched. Now, if we also include Nigeria, we get the all-in bonus. And that increases our funding by 30%. Which is pretty darned awesome. Now, we don't have any uh, interceptors stationed uh, in uh, Africa. So, um, we need to get some interceptors up. But this is pretty darned nice right now, and you know we can. Um, let's see, we've got, we've still got another three that we can launch. We're currently tracking several unidentified targets, but nothing that requires yeah, okay. our attention just yet. Now I'm wondering. We've got the United States completely covered. We've got Asia completely covered. If we put up the other three we can have Europe completely covered. That means the only place the aliens can land is um, in South America. And we can actually, f if by, by leaving one of them uncovered, you can actually farm the missions if you really want to, which is actually quite a good tip. So you know what? Let's complete the satellite coverage. Like, why on earth not? So, United Kingdom, that's another hundred a month. Things are definitely picking up out there. We'll have to monitor our available resources carefully. France. That's 130 a month. Satellite launched. And finally, Germany. Only 50 a month from Germany. Bah, cheap skates. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Okay, labs and workshops now cost 50% less, less to build and maintain. So our finances just kind of went through the roof. So let's get out of here and view the XCOM finances. 
Look at this. Gross monthly income is now 1800 and our facilities are only 200 Craft maintenance is only 100 Net monthly income? Central here. 1500 a month. No. No, okay. Several contacts, right, we do need like to put that. up some uh, some All interceptors right, we'll to protect uh, Africa. So let's go do that now. First up, I'm going to order up uh, a laser cannon because we'll need one of those. Okay, so Africa, let's order up three interceptors. Excellent. Okay, we have got a lot happening. Right, let's do it. Okay, let's see what uh, the the council has to say. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And yeah, they were kind of beyond my expectations too, to likely. be honest. Uh, one a UFO shot down, one terror mission stopped, two abductions stopped, um, seven satellites launched, eight research projects completed, and a, one UFO raided. Which is pretty damn awesome. Monthly reward, 1,800. 14 scientists, 10 engineers, Man, that is Remember, like a massive, massive change. We can now seriously consider, I mean, look at this. We've now got 1600 to spend, and we're getting like 1500 a month. We've got um, complete coverage, with the exception of uh, Argentina and Brazil, so South America, so we've only got one place where abduction missions can happen so we're, whenever we take those we're always going to be reducing the threat so things are pretty darned awesome all we've got to do is make sure that we uh, we shoot stuff down let's head over to the hangar and make sure that we've um, equipped our Africa first raven with um, laser cannon there we go okay so we're now in a situation where I mean short of something like um, an alien battleship which is I, I think like their biggest ship we should be able to protect all of the continents and then do um, abduction missions in South America Wow I'm, we are in such a good position right now now I could order up some extra uh, body armor, but I think I'm going to wait for the Titan armor to come through. It's only five days, we may have to do one more mission. I think it's worth doing. But one thing I'll do before we continue, I want to check out the officer training school. Now we need to bring in a bunch of new people and the uh, new guy means that they're automatically promoted to squad, uh, squaddy rank. Th that is really good we're going to take that. We've then got Rapid Recovery and Iron Will. Iron Will means they receive a larger will bonus each time they're promoted and that is pretty darned awesome. So I think that's got to happen sooner rather than later. Let's do it. And then Rapid Recovery. Soldiers heal twice as fast. And based on how I often I get them wounded <laughs> I think what the hell let's just do it that leaves us with uh, don't die on me man we really want that I wish I'd had that before um, sky went down uh, but we need to get somebody up to Colonel it's time to start completing some of the projects in the foundry um, let's kick off with a scope upgrade this will increase our crit, uh, our crit chance with uh, with scopes, seven days, fifteen weapons fragments. Yeah, let's do it. Time to start scanning again. Request from Brazil for scatter lasers. They want three. They'll pay us three hundred and eleven.
Let's take a look at how much scatter lasers cost. Scatter lasers only cost us 19 to build, so <laughs> let's get three of those built ASAP. Here we go again. Titan armor. Oh, let's take a look at this. Titan armor available for manufacture. Right, <laughs> that we're doing. Titan armor is among our heaviest designs, enhancing our soldiers' protection from weapons fire, also providing immunity to fire and toxins. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're getting some of those. Right, what do we go for next? New fighter craft? I think we can wait on that. Let's uh, let's go for plasma rifles. Oh, who could turn that down? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, so here's the Titan armor, and man, it looks good. It's expensive, though. Takes a lot, um, but man. We want these, so, like, I'm assuming everybody can wear them, I, like, I don't know for certain, but, um, hey, I'm ordering up as many as we can get, so, we'll kick off with two, and let's hope those come through, um, ASAP. We need more alloys. Wow. Yeah. Right, we need to go out and, like, capture ships and stuff. Let's do it. 